Hey there everybody, I'm going to do a quick review on something that I got our landlord suggested for our rental um, to get this to draw more air into our third level house. It gets really hot up here, so I loved it so much I actually got two more. I got one for this regular size room that I'm about to show you, and then um, two for the super large master bedroom, and I'm telling you it works amazing. So this is the name of it, AirTap Series. You can get them in different sizes. Our house um, was a little bit semi-old, older. Um, I think it was like 1982 or 80-something built. So uh, the vents are kind of longer and skinnier than your standard vents. So make sure that you measure the width. You can even call them and they'll tell you exactly which size to get. I think there's just a couple different choices and you can get them in different colors, I believe. I chose white. But what it is, is it's basically, it's simple. It's two, well, first of all, let me show you the temperature in here right now. For me, that's very warm. Um, so it's, I, I took the old vent out that you see there. This is just because it's a room darkening curtain and it keeps all the light out. It's very bright in the sun. The sun is on this side of the house right now. I wanted to wait for that so it really heats up the house upstairs. I have the air conditioning on downstairs and in fact, it's running right now but this is off. I can only show it to you sideways. I can't really, you know. So I'm gonna plug this in. It's got a really long cord. You can plug it in anywhere or even to an extension cord if you don't have a plug nearby. Uh, but you're gonna find it's way worth it. So stand by while I plug it in because I don't have my stand so I'll have to let the uh, iPad down, just set it down for a minute. Stand by, stay tuned. Okay, so I plugged it in. And sorry that's sideways, it would, you'd normally be looking at it like this. And two little computer type fans start running. Right now you can barely hear it. There's two of them in there. See them? So I like white noise anyway, so it works out real good that you can set it up higher. I suppose it has this automatic senses if it's hit the temperature and all. That never seems to work on any of the three I got. But you can turn it all the way up to 10, I think is the max, yeah. Oops. So there's the temperature thing. I never fool with that. Because um, it really hasn't worked. So, so that's what I do at night. Eight is good, but let me tell you what. I felt no air. It just wasn't happening. And once I turn this on, the very, very cold air from the air conditioning is coming through here like blasting, like it's actually blowing my hair. Um, you're gonna be amazed if you just try this thing out. Uh, look around online, because you can get you get different price quotes for the same exact thing. Uh, I think I got one on eBay. I think I got one directly from the dealer. It's like I couldn't seem to get three at one, at one place at, until I found the dealer later. So I got a really good deal on eBay. Couldn't find that deal later. Um, so that's how that works and when you walk away it's really not very loud not like having an air conditioning unit in the window or something it's nothing like that so what I'm gonna do you see it's 77 in here now now the trick is you guys and it took me a while to figure this out is to shut your door so I'm just gonna back on out I'm gonna shut the door come back in about it, it cools down really fast, but I'll come back in about a half hour or so. And we'll see what the temperature is. So stay tuned. Okay, so the other reason uh, to shut the doors, I don't know if I explained why to shut the doors, is it keeps the cold air in. Because like our upstairs has three bedrooms, one very large bedroom, the master bedroom, and then two other bedrooms. And then of course you got the hallway and you got a bathroom and you know, little areas of your upper hallway. So these, I wouldn't try to heat or uh, air condition the whole top of the house. So what, what we do is in the spare room and in the master bedroom, I have two in there and one in the smaller bedroom, and just shut the door. 
simple. Shut the door. If you have a bathroom that's kind of hot, like our master bathroom is you know, facing the sun, it's got a skylight in there. So we put a cover kind of a thing uh, to keep the sun from shining straight down through the skylight. That helped. And then we just shut the bathroom door in there. So the two in the huge master bedroom and the one in here completely cool the place down really quickly. And, and uh, how it works is it just sucks all the air. Air conditioning that's barely coming out, it forces it, it like sucks it out like a vacuum and it just blows really good. And I should have brought a new piece of paper. I could actually set the paper in front of it and you'll see how, how nicely it blows. Um, and also another tip is you, it doesn't matter if you're a renter or a homeowner, go downstairs to where your um, air conditioning unit in the basement or wherever it is, wherever it is, and where the um, ducts split off, you might see one go off to the left, one go off to the right or someplace. Um, look for a lever that you can literally just spin with your hand. You gotta kind of reach up high sometimes or get on a small ladder. And you turn that lever and what they did was they put like a damper in there and I did not know, the owner didn't know that he uh, had one. And we as renters, I went ahead and started Googling and asking questions on our local community Facebook page. And sure enough, there it was. There was a lever on the right side and a lever on the left side. You can kind of play around with it and see where it cuts it off because our basement is freezing. Like it's way too cold. So we turned that, not off, but pretty much off because it doesn't. it's already cold down there. And then we turned the other side and it pushed more air up. But still, it just wasn't quite enough to get to this you know, third level to cool it down. So that's where this comes in handy. So um, stand by, uh, stay tuned because we're gonna leave it run for about 30 minutes or so. Come back in and, and you'll see it's gonna be much cooler than 77 degrees. And the sun is on the side of the house and it is blasting hot. It's, it's like 95 or 98 out right now. It's in Northern Virginia. And you can verify that with your weather Google. It's only been, what, five minutes since I told you I was gonna do this. And I'm gonna come back again later, but right now, remember it was 77? Now it's 75 after just five minutes. So we'll come back in later. In fact, it's not really very close to this thing because we don't wanna cheat. I'm gonna bring it further out. I mean, the whole room will be cooler. So I'll come back in a little while and let's see what the temperature is. Okay, so it's been a few minutes. Let's go in here. It's much cooler than my hallway is. Definitely feels much cooler in here. I don't think it's only been, what, 15 minutes? I'd have to look, but it's already down to 73. And it will go lower even. So I think that proves the point. It went from 77 to 73 in maybe 20 minutes. And it will get even cooler. And then that's where you can adjust the fan up or down. I leave it on all day, but sometimes during the day I might turn it down at night, turn it up a little. But it's, you can just leave it on all the time. It'll just always be nice and cool in your room. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And go ahead and Google this yourself. There's the name AC Infinity, and then you saw the, the detailed name that was on the box. So give them a call and get you some. Let me know how you like it. Or if you have one already, tell me if you like it. But you can see it's blowing the... This is a pretty heavy comforter. That gives you an idea how good it's pushing out air at nine. Anyways, hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, click the like button and subscribe if you want to, and have a good day. Thanks for watching. So I looked some up online. Lowe's, Home Depot, and eBay had the most reasonable prices, around $70. That's what I paid. So don't let other people rip you off. Um, also, make sure you pull out the old uh, register and then measure the opening. It's the opening that you got to make sure that this thing can fit into because it lays down into the opening. And that's where I had to call to make sure because my size was slightly different than theirs, but they said it would fit and it did fit perfectly. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.